everybody! Yay! New Year's Eve 2020! I know a lot of you and me are, you know, and I, looking forward to 2021, but we want to make sure that we knock it out of the park in style and class and with a bang, but not a champagne bang or a sparkling wine bang because that's wrong. So, um, okay, so to help you look fantastic at New Year's Eve, we're going to go through how to properly open the sparkling wine bottle. So, okay, we bottle the Ruben Essence here. Mm. We've talked about it often, Riesling fermented on the bottle, or fermented in the bottle for a second time and left on with the leaves for over a year. And then uh, at the dosage, uh, a little bit of a Merlot was added to it. So, okay, so first we're gonna take off the wire hood. Sometimes they have that little tab that you can pull on, sometimes they don't, but regardless, you either take the whole thing off or just leave a little bit of a skirt on it, whatever whatever is your fancy. All right, next, this thing is under pressure. There's like six bar of pressure inside, that's six bar, six atmospheres of pressure inside each bottle. So it's like a little bomb. So make sure you have pressure on top of the bottle the whole time. So I'm gonna put my thumb on top of the wire hood and like with good force and have my hand around it come down to the to the tab here and it's three full rotations or six half rotations let me sure let's see if that's the case so <laughs> one two three four five six perfect oh. all right they did it right score okay <laughs> all right so when you take the wire hood off you're going to take it off but quickly put that thumb right back on because in some cases the cork could just explode out and that gives you the pop that you just don't want to have so okay here we go one, two, three, woo, uh, woo. All right, mm -hmm. off we go. I'll show you, I'll show you a joke after this, okay? <laughs> oh, maybe let me know the video. Anyway, okay, focus to it. All right, so what now I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a towel over it as well. So when I, when I take the pressure off and take the cork off, in case it happens to gush, um, we wanna make sure we minimize that problem. So, okay, with the same, always keeping pressure on, hand on, Keeping pressure down, I'm going to take my left hand now and take it down to the bottom of the bottle. Always keeping pressure on. Turn the bottle at 45, 30 to 45 degrees. And hold on to the cork with your right hand, if you're right-handed, and turn the bottle with your left hand. There we go. Keep the pressure down. Keep it down. I can feel, wait a minute, two seconds here. Okay, now I can feel the pressure coming now. So I'm pushing against it. So when it finally does pop, it's just a little... You didn't hear anything, did you? No! Just slowly, slowly. Holy moly! <laughs> slowly let that pressure off. I thought so. I was good at opening these <laughs> things quietly. Wow. All right, now to pour it, if you're going to be super classy about this, your thumb right in the punch of the bottle. Use the rest of your hand to cradle the bottle and come down in. Don't touch the bottle, don't touch the glass, and just go super, super slow. Because, you know, going back and forth and back and forth to the bottles, to the glasses, is just really, really, really annoying. So just go nice and low and slow and just keep going. Now if it's New Year's Eve, you're gonna be a little bit more keen to get at that glass, I get it. <laughs> so, but really that's the classic way. And that cute little whoop, half yep. twist to get it off. So Beautiful. there we go. Then to enjoy the sparkling wine, never swirl it. You have all that carbon dioxide that's racing up through the glass there. That's bringing all the nuances of the wine up. So you don't need to swirl like a typical wine. So just, you know, enjoy, don't smelt, Gentle sniffs, gentle sniffs, because in this case as well, of all the aromas, you also have the carbon dioxide there, so you don't want to give yourself a little head rush. So, or maybe you do. Or maybe well, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> and then when when you taste the wine, it's not about just the flavors; it's also about how that CO two explodes on the palate. Does it really fill the mouth? And what's about what are the bubbles like? Are they like coarse, like ginger ale bubbles? Or they're really fine and moussey and really like soft and rich, mm -hmm. and that. The difference between the two is going to tell you the quality of the wine. So, okay. Mm. It fills the mouth full of wild strawberries and blueberries. A little bit of a lavender note to it as well. Mm. Some beautiful floral notes to that wine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there's the final kickoff to 2020. All right, what do you do with this? You hand it to the guests that can take a practical joke and you say, make a duck collar out of this. You know, a duck collar, um, like a duck collar. Like like the whistle to call ducks? Don't worry. Something right like that. Yeah. So, okay, so, okay, so you give it to the person, and they're, oh, 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 oh. okay, so you take it, you take it. All right, squish, squish, squish. 
squish. Oh, this one's hard. If I can do it, just give me a second here. You go like this, and you go like this, and you go like this. Oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, twist, 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 twist. Calling all ducks. <laughs> Calling all ducks. <laughs> That's a duck caller. So <laughs> cheers to you. Cheers to you. Bringing in 2021 your way. Have fun. Do with panache. And we'll see you on the flip side. Happy New Year.